One cold winter weekend, in the tiny Himalayan kingdom of Bhutan, we found ourselves in search of dragons, of dreams, of portals to another realm. Our search began in a tiny bookshop called Junction, where we lost ourselves in an ocean of pages. Along the shelves were worlds, planets, a vast universe and a tiny teacup of faded dreams, unrelenting memories and futures aching to unfold. Trapped within Neil Gaiman scribblings are angels and demons plotting to halt an impending doom for the mere love of bookshops? Oh, how meta. A few steps down below, one can rediscover the joys of childhood when words such as income tax, PCR testing, and quarantine were pure gibberish. Here, we discover the story of a dragon king, one whose passion for his people has burned embers of hope through the long, cold night. We found a book on phallus, intersections between heaven and hell, and, uh, oh, hi, Michelle. Then upstairs, we found another portal to another world. A cozy little cafe with no coffee machine, but a whole lot of stories to awaken one's soul. We found a blue TARDIS. We found a doctor. A doctor who? And the melancholic gaze of Frida Kahlo. Off we wandered some more on tiny streets and quiet corners until we found ourselves a worn cafe in Cocoon. A lush, shady shelter. A shelter aptly named Shelter. Here, our search for dragons went on, and we found fragments of them over leaf after leaf of words on mysticism. On scribbled post-it notes, on warm cups of joe. <coughs> on a man's wanderings in the frontiers of Darjeeling and Tibet. On nostalgic photographs of a bygone age and faded dreams.
It was the weekend after lockdown in Timpu. So everyone came out in droves to unleash their overflowing boredom and turn it into a dance of post-pandemic infused freedom. Cafes were a bus. Streets were alive. And walls served as unbeatable ping pong bounce buddies. On a bamboo strewn path, we stumbled upon another portal. Here, the red shelves overflowed with tales of here and there, of far and wide, of all shapes and sizes. They were as small as a whisper, or big enough to be a bed and make my hand seem like a tiny whisker. As we wandered around, another portal appeared, and, is it, and it led us up into steps that revealed another world, where we could unleash our innocent and childish sides. be lost in this kind of world, only to find yourself, your reality, your own space in this vast universe, as we flip page to page. The next morning, we found ourselves in a Russian cafe named Brushnika, where we met 
a Bhutanese artist, and revealed to us his vision of clouds and dragons in the shape of rockets pummeling the skies from a jovial cup of Starbucks coffee. Uh, finally, we have this painting done by our friend Nam Ye. It's a really great artist from Bhutan. We are so happy with this piece. Then off we went to the urban wilderness into our wondrous wanderings of doors awaiting to be opened and hidden realms ripe for discovery. For the wats and whys and wares, we stumbled upon a nook of was and where, wherever and where else, but a quaint little art cafe named Elsewhere. We whisked ourselves up, step upon tiny step, in a quiet corner of its lofty setting, where creative souls have found a fortress to inhabit and call a home. A cafe slash gallery slash restaurant slash studio slash art shop slash creative cloud in a vast sky of artistic visions drifting slowly and hoping to find a place to unleash its thunder. Here, sparks of lightning are beginning to unfold in every brushstroke in every shade of possibility. And it's a delight to see a creative storm brew before it becomes a true and unstoppable hurricane. Timpu is a series of beautiful storms awaiting to happen. And in many corners, these little disturbances are apparent. Soon, they will turn into formidable rains. They will seep through the soil and quench the earth of a thirst that it never knew existed.
In our search for portals to far-flung worlds, for discoveries and dragons, we unknowingly found them in the very sense of curiosity that inhabit ourselves. For these worlds exist in a big wild unknown or in a universe encapsulated in a brushstroke, in a warm cup of coffee, or in between the pages of a book. <laughs>